From Marianne Sills Park in Belleville, it is home game number two for the Quinty Skyhawks in their inaugural season in the Ontario Football Conference. Uh, David Foote and David Bowie here with you on behalf of your TV and glad to have you with us as the Skyhawks, David, come off their first ever victory 14-10 over the Junior Argos in Toronto last weekend, and uh, that's a big, big milestone for this young franchise to pick up. That has to be really exciting for the Quinty Skyhawks to finally pick up their first victory, and now they can carry that momentum into this game. A little bit more confidence in them now, now that they have their first victory. Now it's only hoping that they can just move forward from here on out. And this time he'll call his own number and get toward the goal line and in a touchdown, and on their first drive of the game it's Kurt Cantello the quarterback rushing it in to give the Wolverines the lead about to find out again it's a handoff near side run and looking for some room is Brett Borgen Bjorgen there on the end around again they've already ran that this time plenty of motion before the snap Good pass out to the right side and a nice run as well. And Quiddy's going to get a first down. Second down and still 10 to go after the incomplete pass. Wolverines will load the far side of the field. This one dumped off and Quiddy able to get there and make the tackle on McFarlane. Not, not a bad down there, I would say, for the Skyhawks. Again, can they build on it? They'll try to, they go to Wood again. He'll cut to the outside, has the first down and a little more, and out of bounds, just shy of the 50. As Woods takes it back to back and pushes the Skyhawks up the field. Stevens will see what he can concoct here. Lots of pressure early. Stevens able to scramble away here on the near side, and he'll throw it low, hauled in by Rose, trying to cut back to the middle, and. Taken down by uh, two Wolverines. Another run play. McFarlane on the right side has some daylight and he is hauled down. Good job by the Skyhawks to get to him and Nathan Shorey with the tackle. Cantello's touchdown back in the first half was a quarterback keeper from about this spot and it looks like they'll do it again. Touchdown Peterborough and they're gonna tack on a few more to their lead here. Points. Yeah, a lot of the passes have been out to the right side for Janaru. Dava getting into the mix that time. Let's see what happens here. A little dump pass and some room to run and more room to run and taking it all the way to the house is Austin Wood. It's a touchdown for the Skyhawks and given the afternoon that Wood has had, he certainly deserved it. Wow, fantastic play there by Carter Stevens. And again, that was a screen pass there by the Skyhawks. And we noticed that both defensive ends of the Wolverines were closing in on Stevens, but he was able to dump it off. He had some space with a couple linemen in front of him and a great breakout running speed there by Austin Wood. Fantastic play, fantastic response to a touchdown that the Wolverines had earlier, and that just put them right back into this game. Final minute, another third down try here. This one fired out. Dava hauling it in that time, and he turns the corner, but he just stepped out of bounds, and he's just short of the first down. Nice grab by Dava, and good feet to stay in bounds. Could be the final play. Nice pass out to the left side. Dava trying to make his way to the end zone. He's taken down, but did he get in? He did, touchdown! Jose Dava for the second straight home game will find the end zone. But that'll put the exclamation point on the game. The Skyhawks score late, but they don't score enough. The Peterborough Wolverines run all over them. 29-17 the final. Remind you that the next game for the Skyhawks is on Saturday, June 23rd here in Mary Ann Sills Park at 6 p.m. And it is $5 to get in. The fan zone opens at 4, two hours before game time. Barbecue, merchandise table, and some fantastic Ontario Football Conference action. They'll take on the York Region Lions and try to improve their record and get that first home win.